All right, it's time to bale some straw. So we are out here in our barley field. So <clears throat> taking off more barley. And this time we're taking it off for grain. So we took off, uh, we combined the barley earlier today and we're putting that in an ag bag uh, back at the home farm because we took it off a little bit higher moisture. Uh, we do that uh, for a couple reasons. One being that it feeds well at a little bit of higher moisture. And the other being uh, that it gets us, it, it allows us to get into the field a little sooner to plant our soybeans. Um, so, uh, we did that last year. It worked out pretty good. Um, we feed that as a substitute for our high moisture corn or for the corn distiller grains. Yeah, so we took that off. We combined the barley this morning. It looks like we had a pretty great crop. baling straw so we got uh, we're gonna bale all of our wagons full that's what we've been doing the last couple years uh, we bail our wagons full and then we just let them sit in the wagons and we use them for for calves we have three wagons that are empty so we're gonna bail these three wagons full and that'll be it for small bales but to make sure we get as much as we can on a wagon um, we got Casey back there stacking bales so we can fit as many as we possibly can on these wagons because we'll use these then um, throughout the years. I think we talked about it before that we don't do a lot of small baling anymore um, because it's just a lot more efficient for us to move big bales around. We can do, use it with skid loader. It's just not as much manual labor. But for calves, it really works nice to have small bales, um, especially because of the calves that we have up top in the barn. We can't really get a skid loader in there. And so, uh, oops, I just shot that one over the wagon. Um, so anyway, it's nice to use small bales. So we do bale a little bit of small bales for that reason. All right, so we got a load of cattle coming tonight and we're putting them in at the upper barn here at the farm, but we don't have a chute up here. So normally what we always have to do is we have to offload them at the loading chute at the main barn, then bring them up here at the gooseneck. But we're gonna try something new here today. So we're bringing the semi up here. We're gonna see if we can jump the cattle out the side door. try and bring him out of the side door here. Jaden's not so sure about this idea. <laughs> Why don't you think? These steers get really worked up and when they do, right. they just like All right, let's just see here. We're gonna try to line this skid up with the door here. Uh, 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 oh, perfect. All right, let's see how it goes. I like this idea better rather than standing. Oh, Hey, let's 
see if they're gonna come out. Oh, there he is. All right, so we got the bottom deck unloaded. Now we gotta unload the top deck, but to do that, we gotta bring them down the ramp and around the back and into the belly. So they're coming down the ramp now. We'll see how it goes. All right, we got them guys all moved in. That went pretty good. Actually, that was the first time we ever did that. Maybe we'll have to try it again now. Now that we know it can work, so. down at the burn pile and we saw that all this wood and sheet metal was on it from the guys working on the roof and we were like oh my word this is great like why are they throwing this away and I suggested the idea of a fort so for the past few days we've been working at building a fort and right now we just put together the roof yeah lift it up so you can see so yeah, we just built that. But Jaren insisted on adding a golden bolt. See, it's the special golden screw. He got the idea from like when they built the Transcontinental Railroad, how they put um, a golden bolt at the end that the president put in. And he insisted that we put a golden bolt in it. So, yeah. Yeah, we have a lot of extra wood over here. Like this is all. Uh, this is wood. This this is all extra wood though. And then really. yesterday we cut these pieces out. These are gonna be the posts for oh, the bottom of the roof. Pieces of wood are infested with pincher yeah, bugs. Yeah, look. Now I'm afraid that our fort is gonna like collapse when all the pincher bugs eat all of it. See, look. Uh, where is it? Right here. I don't know, yeah, the pincher bugs ate all that out and there was like tons of them in there. It's gross, I don't know if you can see them very well on the camera, but... There was like, like hundreds of them earlier. It's gross. <laughs> So I just got a call from my cousin who is our ChemGrow Chem seed salesman. And he said, hey, are you busy? And of course the answer is yes, but he said that our big sprayer is stuck in a field somewhere, kind of near where we live here. He asked if I could go help get him out. So we're gonna get him out. chains loaded up on the back here. Too bad we don't have one of those big Yankum ropes that we saw at their place. Apparently they make some really big ones now and kind of targeted for ag stuff which would be perfect for this application but we don't have one so. So we're Yankum ropes. If you want to send us a rope we'll give it a shot next time.
right, that wasn't too bad. A little bit of a tug, and up he came. So now we're back to the farm. We gotta go deliver the skid loader to the repair shop. So that's next on the list. Try some more. 